fucking pig. Ideal for CrossFit. Fucking pig. <laughs> Howdy, you two. Today is gonna be the first day of a five day daily vlog. I'm gonna go through my whole program this week, show you guys everything, and today we're starting off with bench press. And the topic for this video is gonna be five ways to increase your bench press today. So basically, it's not gonna take putting on mass, it's not gonna take you know weeks and weeks to perfect. Well, actually you could say, because it's all form-based, and I'm gonna show you five things that got my bench up 70 pounds in the last 365 days. So, let's get right to it. Okay, so if you clicked on this video, your bench form, I'm gonna take a little guess, probably looks like you just fly down. No thought put into it. Grab the bar wherever you please. Lift it off. Do your rep. And like, there's nothing really wrong with that. But there's certain ways that you can manipulate your body and your setup to get the most optimal force out of your bench press. So I'm going to show you five tips. First tip is going to be retracting your scapula. So these, this line right here in your back, I'm going to push my shoulder blade and retract my scapula. And what that's gonna cause me to do is gonna cause my shoulders to come back and my hands are gonna be a little bit wider and it's gonna cause that distance to get a little bit smaller and keep everything tight in my CNS so I'm not loose and letting the bar go all the way out here as opposed to a bench press that goes like this. So that's gonna be step number one. So that's just gonna look like, you get down and you pin your shoulders back. So that's the first step. All right, now your next thing you're gonna do is find the ideal grip for you. Now where I'm trying to limit my range of motion and make it as small as possible, I'm gonna go as wide as I can without losing power. So where I recommend this, this is a power bar. Where I'm gonna put my fingers, is my pointer fingers will go on the power range right here. I'm using neural marks. And that's gonna give me a nice wide setup so that the bar doesn't have to come as far down. Okay, the next step is going to be to develop yourself an arch. Now what an arch is, is when your butt's touching the bench and my uh, scapula is going to be tight touching back here, my shoulders, and there's going to be a gap here where nothing is going to be touching the bench. This is going to cause my body to be elevated a little bit more and keep really tight. So I'll show you what that looks like. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my feet up on the bench. I'm going to retract my scapula. I've already got my grip and I'm going to create that arch and now it would be of course an invalid bench press now because my ass is on the bench so what we're going to do is we're going to lower our feet to the floor get them nice and set flat as always unwrap the bar and then gently touch your butt as you can see there's going to be a purse there there you go and now you can perform your rep voila so this is probably going to be the one thing that's going to give you the most power out of these tips and it's going to be to incorporate your legs. So that's why it's important to squat and not skip leg day because you need them for the best lift bench press. So anyway, what you're going to be doing is using leg drive. Right? What you're going to do is you're going to push through your feet, through the floor, using your quads. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep you sliding down the bench. It's going to keep all that force coming up. And it's not going to be just using your chest to push the bar up. You're going to be using your whole body to keep everything tight and push that bar up your chest. So I'll show you an example. Like if you just leave your legs loosey-goosey, not really. All chest, all the body strength. But just take advantage of your lower body. You plant your legs firmly, and you can see my quads tense up as I push. And that's gonna make it a hell of a lot easier to move big weight. So that's step number four. All right, so step number five is gonna to be to develop a routine. So every time you go on that bench press, you're doing the exact same thing so your body gets used to it, no matter what way you're at. I'm about to do my first working set. I've got a five by four competition bench with 200, and I'll show you guys my routine.
gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little stronger now You cast in on my You cast in on my promises, you know 